Hey guys, Captain CA here from Flats Class YouTube. Today, I've got a good tip for you. In fact, it really came out of necessity. Uh, today, I was out with two good friends. They're regular clients. They fish with me every year now. Uh, Rob and his dad. His dad is 81 years young, and Rob's about my age, and they're still out there fishing together. Gotta love that. Really do. Um, but my wife's in the background yelling at me because I'm supposed to be cooking burgers. So the grill is heating up, preheating right now, and the oil is getting heated up in the fire disc for the fries. But I wanted to run out here and share this experience since I fished with these guys today because we were kind of saddled with challenging conditions. Uh, second day after the full moon and a west wind with an incoming tide bringing a lot of grass into the shallow water. And there's a way to get around that. Had to today because the standard practice of just Texas rigging wasn't working. But I'll let you go. You go watch this and I'm going to start getting ready to cook. I'll be back with a fishing tip. Hold on. Flats Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. Not a big one, but surprised how we take a minnow that big, you know? Yeah, yeah. I need red, please. Look what I caught. I see that. <laughs> you know, it's funny how you just all of a sudden, just like you said, you keep all of a sudden. You gotta believe. Yeah. yeah, that's it. You gotta believe. It. You gotta, gotta believe. He ate that thing. I did. You know, I was trying to watch my lure, and I did not see him eat it. But I understand. I know you didn't like that. Yes. Get a picture hurt. with that one. Yeah, it did. I've okay. got some pliers if he doesn't want to come out. It's on the side. It went worked through, and I think. There we go. Let's pick them up and show her. Want to take a Dad. picture? Yeah. Stand up. Knock yourself out. <laughs> that's a nice. That's a nice red fish. That is a nice red. Yeah. Fish fills all day long. Yeah. So he had to be you, decent. You to he had, he had to be so decent enough to be able to pick up a five inch minnow. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll put them in the drink. We'll get another one. Look at that. Snow. Ready to go? Yeah. Okay, boys. There you go, partner. Goodbye. <laughs> so I was on my way before you messed up my life. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing just fine. Yes, sir. Another red fish right in front of us, right? Yep, whole school of them. Yeah. I think that's those are that's a big school of them. <laughs> Yeah, he, he undid the biggest trout we've ever seen. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> when you fish with your dad. You got to expect it unexpected. Hey, man. That like, jig you did good, Dad. That you did really came, good. That jig came right out, too. I mean, the jig came right out. You did good, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> Hold that one up. I'm going to get a picture of it. Yes, sir. That, that one's a good one. <laughs> I like to live on the edge. <laughs> that is a good one. That is one. Let me get a let me get a nice photograph. Uh, how long is it? Hold this tail out a little bit more broadside, right? Just like that, yeah. Got it. Nice fish. That's got to be a thirty odd inch fish. I was gonna say. Uh, no. Pinch him tail. Yeah. Okay. Probably right at thirty. Thirty. Yeah, thirty. Yeah, 30. 30. That's a daggum legal swim. Cool, baby. Good at calling on there. That is a. I didn't know they made those anymore. <laughs> Still sucking on your thumb? Yep. Cool. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, sir. Nice job, John. Oh, baby. That was a good one. Happy days. It's got a good one. You see that, man? The top's got a good one. I didn't hit the lure. I know. I mean, the there's no drama, I mean, Rob. I mean, Rob, I, I mean, that was the best net job I ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> that that was it awesome. Is. What a way to round out a day of fishing with yeah. a big snook like that. I didn't, I didn't like handle that. a rod right. I didn't do nothing. You know, he didn't say crap about me. So, you know, you just came along to the ride. <laughs> it's all about. It was all about the net job. Wow. wow. Pull them up a little bit more. You're still hanging over the zero. Yeah, 30 incher. Yeah, it's a good Clean one. Clean 30 incher. Another 30. Yeah. Another 30. Yeah, I'm good. He ate that now. That was the get her done color. Yeah. That did. And That's he's been fit. fighting all the weeds and everything else. Yeah. You're going to have to get a pick with that one there. Yeah, yeah we got to do something with that. Man. Or, or have Rob hold them for yeah. you. I got a grip on them, so. All right. I can, he's stick, acting my, correctly. I can stick my face in that yeah. thing, you know, like it. <laughs> All right, let me get my photo. <laughs> Proud <laughs> dude. <laughs> Knocking him out. Got it. <laughs> what a nice fish. Yes, sir. I'm going to go home and I'm gonna try to get put on my YouTube page what a great guy see is. You know, he's talking about the dang stock market, you know, and going through all that uh, stuff, you know, and puts you right on a fish. Push him out there a little more. Some, some impressive fishing. And once you see a picture like this, with these guys still doing it their age together, father and son, well, it's, it's inspirational. All right, here's, here's the trick to fishing. Uh, and this happens to a lot of us in the summertime when you have a lot of floating grass on the surface. And this particular day, we were faced with a west wind and an incoming tide, and it was just bringing that grass in in sheets. And it makes it tough even to fish Texas style uh, without being the baits getting gagged up, if you will, with grass. So uh, I decided to do something a little unorthodox, and that's to go with a heavy lead head jig. What's heavy to me? Well, fishing inshore in water that's anywhere from a foot and a half to three, maybe four feet deep max, but probably most of the time two, two and a half feet deep, three eighths is pretty heavy. But you need it to punch to the surface tension, okay? and then be able to run the bait underneath the grass without it getting fouled up, but still have enough tension on the line that you can snap it and it won't go too easy and just drag the grass with it, it'll rip through it. So to do that, I like to use these big three eighths, and I use a system, if you will. You know, I match, I put my jig heads in the bags where the baits that I want to use them. So this is a redfish eye, okay, from, from Z-Man. Uh, the redfish eye has got a little bit longer shank, if you will, and it's a heavy head. I mean, you can see how thick this jig head is. I love the 3D red eye. It just adds to it. And then when I put them on here, I'm not going to take the glue and do it this way, but typically I will take and pilot hole this big 5-inch bait. Now, you can use a 4-inch bait if you want, but the 5-inch bait really got a lot of love. So I usually put it in there, kind of pre-drill it out. Then what I'll do is I'll feed it through the bait, come out the back, and before I slide it up, I'll put a little strip of glue on both sides. The best one is that lock 
tight gel glue. It works the best. Then I just slide this up till I hear it pop. And then I pop it just to make sure it stays on there. And then it's glued in place and it's not going to come off. Now this is a five inch diesel minnow. I'll let you see the packaging here. But what that five inch diesel minnow does for me, not only appeals to those big snook, but it gives me enough buoyancy because of this, the properties of Laztec lets this sink slow enough where when we throw it and it punches through that grass, then we can recover, get the jig moving with some energy swimming. And well, you see the results. We have pretty good results with this little baby here. Late spring, all through the summer, the five inch diesel minnow really rocks. Now my favorite colors are probably the smelt color and the opening night. But we use a lot of smoky shad. Uh, a lot of smoky shad does really good. But between the smelt, the opening night, and the smoky shad, you can't go wrong. They all look like some type of Spanish sardine, thread fin, white bait, whatever you want to call it, mullet. And it just works. They, they love it. It's a nice big target. It's got a nice big boot tail on these big 5-inch diesel minnows. And I think they call them diesel minnows because they catch diesels. <laughs> All right, watch this last big eat here, and I'll be back. I got the whole Oh, man. I, I, I just saw a big white flash. Oh, look at that big mother. Good <laughs> night. Oh, oh, man. Well, we rallied here in this in the saloon <laughs> period. Right here, Dad. Lights, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Down low. You got a strong rod there, and you got a good... A good Look at that net job. You Maybe the second best net job I've <laughs> ever seen. Under the chin. <laughs> oh, there man. you go, Bob. That's another one. That's, he's not going to, he doesn't look quite 30, he's but he's going to be close. He's going to be close. Yeah, I don't think he's quite as big as the other two, but I. Woo! But, but he, we ain't come close enough to the boat. Huh? He, he, can, he, ate, the boat. he ate it right on at the bow. He has a solid 27. 27. Let's get a quick uh, yeah. photo of that one. Hold this. Oh, oh, oh. You, want me put my, you want me to look in Go there ahead. so it'll, it'll look good to me? <laughs> it looked like I did it. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, got, he got even there. Man, he kept casting and casting and casting. That <laughs> thing came. I, I, I thought he was going to hit the bow. I thought he was going to hit the bow. <laughs> day like today proves, well, if there's a will, there's a way. We persevered. We had a good day because we figured it out. And that little trick with the heavier jig head definitely makes tackling floating grass a lot easier. And uh, it was productive. But Blondie has called me three times now. You do not want her calling you four times. So off to the grill. See you guys on the next one. If you like what you see here at Flats Class YouTube, big thumbs up. Subscribe. Tell your friends. I'm going to make you a better inshore angler. And if I can't make you a better inshore angler, I'm going to make you a better burger flipper for sure. <laughs> see you guys.